Hi everybody. So what you do when you realise that what you've been building so far in your layout is pants. What you do is you rip the pants bit out, take two steps back and start again. And that's exactly what I've done. So watch this video and see what happened. As I mentioned in the intro to this video, there's now a drastic change of direction and it's my fault. I've fallen into the classic pit of overcomplicating things and Alan from Dragon Junction will kick me up the backside, I'm positive of it. What I've done is because I've limited space, I've tried to fit too much in and I've caused myself problems. Now, let me explain. <clears throat> I originally wanted, as you know, a local line on the bottom, going round, and then, if you like, a main line going round the top. And the original plan was to have it split into four across the back where it would have a mainline station, a nice big station. Now, it, it, it suddenly just hit me. And why it didn't hit me before, I have no idea. <clears throat> if that, the width of that is just way too wide and it causes problems with access to dealing with the track underneath. Because once the track on the top is fixed down, I can't lift it up out the way. So we'll come back to that and that's going to be modified. The riser is going to stay, that's all fine. The lower local line is going to stay. The fiddle yard, little mini fiddle yards displays are all going to stay, that's fine. The raise level is going to stay along the sides. It's going to be much simpler. Where in the corners I've got this great big chunk of wood, I'm going to cut that back to be a much smaller affair. It's still going to allow me to have the raised level, it's still going to be scenic, but I'm not going to have the issue of not being able to get things. It was, it was starting to bug me and I wouldn't be able to get at things from underneath. So I'm going to cut this back more in line with the actual track itself. So it'll open up that space. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to cut this back and make it a more simpler affair and allow me better access to the track at the bottom. Some of you might be going, I knew that would happen, and you were right. So at the back here, where the station's going to be, I'm now thinking, four's too many, I'm seeing if I can drop it to three track at the back, or even two. So it'll have a narrower setup there. I still want to try and incorporate some sort of station there, but I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to have a think about how I'm going to incorporate a main line station on the track and allow through trains to go while other trains are stopped. But I'll work something else, but it's going to be a much simpler affair. So I'm now in the process of ripping all this up I'm keeping the bottom but lay, lay it down, so all that's staying, that's okay. But I've just got to remodify all the top and get things going again. And I've done videos on, on what I did and I, it's all been a waste of time because it's pants. My original idea turned out to be pants. So watch this space. I've got to go backwards several steps now before I can go forward again. And I will get back to you. But not to worry, it's all doable and it's not going to be a problem. It's just that it's going to take me longer. So this is the first piece ripped out. That's coming out now and this, that'll all be trimmed down to make it a much sleeker affair. So I will get back to you soon on the progress on that. Just another update. As you know, I've had to take a step or two backwards in order to go forwards again because of my rethink on the layout. 
I'm just going to show you now what I've done overall in order to simplify things because I really backed myself into a corner. Like I said in the last part, I think I've said it all already. Alan from Dragon Junction would kick my backside for getting into this situation. And it's me on doing. Inexperience, but I've learned a lesson. Now, if you remember, at the back I had a large section where it was going to be four deep a track in the station. What I've done is I've trimmed that right down so that this is now just going to be a twin track elevated section, curving round. I've retained the space to be able to put the right curves in, but there's going to be no points there. The only point on this at this moment in time is there, will be there to allow the trains to come up or down on that 2% riser. I've trimmed back this corner. Which was covered in everywhere. Now that's anything under there is much easier to get at. And when I do the actual scenic work, the scenic work that will go onto that will be lift off as well. This corner over here is the same. I've trimmed that right back. And then again, it goes onto the raised area. I think you'll agree that it's a much simpler setup and easier to work on and maintain. I've got these two little trains running around at the moment just to keep me company. Basically, that's just showing that I've laid the local line and I'm more or less back to where I was in relation to that. You know, what I've done is I've done this, this is just an initial setup here, but I've done a crossover a couple of points. This spare here goes to that three-way point, which will be a three-lane fiddle yard display area. This point here is going to go round to that three-way point there, underneath all that, and that is going to be another th uh, three-lane fiddle yard along there, which, because I've now got a the riser curving round, that spare, those three spares will curve as well to allow me to fit me three TGVs on there. And need, that needs to be a certain length for that. As you can see, the this crossover comes from the inside track, goes across that up track onto the outside, which will go around underneath, goes up onto the riser there. As you can see, the riser going along and it's, it's quite nice going up there and eventually it comes up here. Well, it's the next day now and I'm just looking at the track bed. Everything's looking okay, it's all stuck down really well. What I'm going to do now is just go around and pull all the little pins out, all the track pins that are on the curves to help keep it in place. And then I'm going to lay the track for that up the riser. So I'm going to, I'll just show you. riser starts here, I'm going to swing it round and it's going to go up the back, it's going to go up the back and away we go. So what I'd like to be able to get it on today, up to the point up there, that'd be nice. Um, I'm also going to measure up and mark up the track that's on the bottom where this little train's running to make sure it's centred on the, on the baseboard and that it's not twisted in any way from either back to front or left to right. So I'll do that and then I'll mark it up and that'll be ready for track bed, which I've I've got a box of Woodland Scenics track bed here. Got some more coming because track bed is the thing right now, loads of it. So speak to you soon and here's my little friend going around again. So catch up later. Well, I'm roasting, I've just been working outside. I've come in here to cool down and do a little bit of work in the train room. So, uh, just a, a progress report on where I'm going. After all the uh, backward steps, we've taken plenty of steps forward now. I've fitted all the track bed on the lower main section of track. As you can see, I've cut back the 
corner piece here even further than before and I've started laying the track bed on the raised section. I've just got this corner to do here and then the two corners leading with the bridge is going to go across. So good progress, back on track, things are looking okay. So I'll fill you in with a bit more later. Right, so what we're just going to look at now is, as the progress is going well laying the track and the track bed around the room, I've got to start bringing the track bed around here and the track and it's got to line up with where the bridge is going to be, the trestle bridge is going to be across here and I, I, I purchased this twin track trestle bridge and I'm really pleased with it and it'll be look great when it's all painted up. What I've got to do, I've got to line up the track in the right place but in relation to what's underneath. So if we have a little closer look, they're not in the final positions but this is more or less where it's going to be. I've arranged it so that the track is going to come here and across there, here where the places where the stanchions are isn't an issue. The problem is here and under there. I won't need any stanchions here because I'll be able to support that with the edge of the where the tunnel comes out and I can do that. All these are those ones there are all fine. They're going to be great and they look good once they're all painted up and it's scenic up and that. It's these two here. These two. I've managed to get that one on the outside so that that wagon goes through but the wagon keeps catching this one. So let's get down here. So now in order to keep them looking right I've lined them all up as you can see they're all in the same line up. This one I've brought forward this one here brought forward so it didn't it's not affecting the track as it curves around there and it's got a bit more space to sit in there so this one now has to come forward and it, this one is going to have a problem wherever I put it because it's going to hit the track the further back it goes it more lines up with this track the further back it goes it's going to interfere there the further forward it goes it's going to interfere there so what I'm going to do. I am going to bring it forward one notch on the, the construction of the bridge and that will line it up with the far one. That's that sorted. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to <clears throat> kip bash it a bit, only a little bit. I'm going to cut the side pieces off. Cut these side pieces off here to make it more of a straight Girder. and most probably if I can I'll put re replace that and put it round the, on the sides to keep to keep the strength up in, in the piece so I'll cut it to keep it straight and narrower at the base and then bring them glue them on either side just to keep the strength in so that's where we're going with that and that's our little update in relation to the to the bridge that's if you like that's my first offer up of the the bridge and the trestles. So I'll speak to you later about how we get on. Bye. Okay, progress on the bridge. I've kept this one whole and I've shortened this one. And that leaves me with a whole piece here that I can use maybe somewhere else. What I've done is I've trimmed the XPS board down to the baseboard so that the bridge literally drops down to the right level so everything seems to be okay there. What I'm going to do now is where the join is here I'm going to reinforce that join underneath with some hot glue and some hardboard strips which you will not see because they'll be between the the girders underneath. It'll, it'll be underneath here so you won't actually see it. Once all that's done, I'll be thinking about spraying it up with some um, grey piranha. I've got this leg here missing because this is going to be an issue because of the, 
gap between the track. What I will do, I'm thinking of trimming one of these down so that it looks okay, but I've got to trim the base down. I was toying with the idea of turning it upside down. I might get away with that, but we'll see. So I've yet to work on that one, but I've, I've, I've made it so that the, the uprights are equally spaced. Well, not equally spaced, that is symmetrical from the centre. So that it, it looks okay. I think that looks not too bad at all. So I'll crack on a bit more. Let's be That's just a little bit of an update. I'll stop your little friends to save the noise. Alexa, pause. I just a little bit of an update. I'll just get to little train out the way. So, there we go with the bridge, the progress on the bridge. It's uh, been primed, ready for some sort of painting in the future. I've trimmed out the XPS board underneath to drop it down to the level and it was more or less exactly right to get the, to get the levels here spot on. I just had to sand a couple of the legs, the bottoms, just to make a, a slight adjustment. So it's not fixed in, but I'm going to I'm going to hot glue it in. So a bit of hot glue on the legs at the bottom, and just a touch at the top, underneath, most probably. Do it some way and lock it in. I'm not going to put the handrails or anything on yet. I'm just going to start bringing the track round and right across there, which I'll show you when that's completed. I just had a delivery today of more track beds, so that's what was holding everything up. I've run out of track bed because I've used literally hundreds of feet of it, um, which is, I'm fine, it's great. I've got to lay the track under there and curve it round underneath for the fiddle yards, and I've got to curve it round underneath there, as you can see to meet the fiddle yards but everything is going well and once I've done my track and got the track on I'm going to start thinking about how I'm going to glue the track down what I've actually done in places is a bit of an experiment I've actually especially in places that you don't won't really see I've used hot glue just to point glue the track down and it's worked really well and here worked really well dead easy to do uh, it's going to be even neater in the future because this hot glue gun that I've got here is great low melt hot glue <laughs> stuck to the bag but the nozzle is very short I've got a, another little one coming which should arrive today or, or Monday and it's got a long, a long nozzle there which means I'll be able to be, put it in more accurately in the places where I want it and I've also got black glue gun sticks which I don't know whether it'll be of any help because when it's all ballasted you won't see a lot of it but in any case I'm just thinking of see look at that it's just in a couple of places and it's locked in nice really nice and it seems to be very simple but as I say it'll be a lot neater once I've got the new glue gun. Only a bit of the track is glued down. I've glued the track down on the riser at the back. Um, the look at the mess there. But it's all not proud of the sleepers so when I get the when I come to ballast all that, that all that'll hide be gone. And if there is any bit bits it seems to just scalpel off uh, the places where it's gonna be proud. So it's all working for me anyway. A few people might frown at what I've, what I've done, but it's actually working for me, and I'm sure that's what's important. So, I'll speak to you, I'll show you later when that's glued in, I'll give you another little look at that when it's glued in, and uh, and then we'll move on. All right, back soon. I a quick update, just doing the track bed around the bends now. The bridge is partly glued in, so I'll be track bedding it straight across and joining up at the other side. And then 
lordy lordy it'll be put the remainder of the track down and I'll end up with your twin roofs around the base area and start thinking about putting some power into them and testing them so beautiful back on okay so now it's just a little update on the track bed issue I'm just doing this piece here where I've got points coming off there, points coming off here and this route is going through the crossover it will eventually obviously be linked up it'll split into two and then the two split into four and it ends up going into what will be like a TMD or engine sheds here the other side bit of a mess sorry that's going to go through the crossover and it'll work its way round and head towards the turntable hopefully the turntable there and then that, that is the basis of the layout so there, there will be a load of space here but we don't know what to do with that yet but we'll, I don't want to just clog it up with everything I want to you know see naked up and put some buildings in so it's all looking fine I'm going to head to the game again we're back on track so speak to you after hi well i've just finished uh, pottering about on my layout downstairs i'm sorry the video was a little bit long but it's covered a big modification in the way i was going about things i realized it was, it was going in completely the wrong direction but i've managed to sort it and i've now progressed past where it was before the modifications are made and what i decided to do is put it all together in in one video rather than stretch it out over numerous videos now at the moment things are on a little bit of a hold because I've run out of track and I need to wait for some of that to arrive this is the main thing with it you run out of material to carry on building your layout I'm really looking forward to more progress on the layout it's starting to come together a little bit now and hopefully we'll have it up and running very soon we'll speak to you soon and I'll see you next time See ya. Bye.